Welcome back everybody. We have a new video for you guys today and it's a bit of a sad one but before we get into the video make sure you give this video a like, <laughs> share it and subscribe to our channel and buy us a coffee if you want to. Oh my legs are sore. We're David and Sarah. At the end of 2021 we packed up our lavish Aussie lives into four suitcases to do a two-year working holiday in Canada. The awesome sights and experiences you're about to witness are the result of two people prioritizing fun, adventure and each other over financial security, career goals and social ideals. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming adventures. Today we are going to be packing up the RV, trying to fit everything into our little Jeep compass. <laughs> Not sure how that's going to go. And tomorrow we are going to say goodbye to Monty. It's a bittersweet farewell. We had. It's like, it's kind of bitter, but then it's like, you know, sweet it's like bitter well. sweet. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so. we've been across the Canadian Rockies in this thing. Okay, it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. We've been across the Rockies. You guys have come along with us. Thank you for coming along with us. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. We have uh, so many new subscribers. Thank you for coming along on this journey. We are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by November. So subscribe. We have a lot to do. As you can see behind us, there's stuff everywhere. Stuff everywhere. There's vitamins. Take your vitamins, guys. So much to clean. So much to pack. Let's get into it. Let's get it done. <laughs> subscribe. Thank you. Oh. oh my goodness, that is not going to fit in the van. Uh, the Jeep, I mean. I don't know if you guys remember the first time we did a tour with the RV. It was super windy and it's another windy day today. You guys know what it is? Socks and sandals all the way. A heaps of space. Another one there. And then what about our there. snowboard? Yeah, we can just straight across the top and then just pack the rest in on top. Okay, do you reckon the wheels can take this kind of... Well, how does pressure? it look with me in the back? Oh... Because it's going to look better. It's going to look worse than that. Not looking good, but I think it'll look better because you obviously weigh a lot more than our 4,000 suitcases. And... That's a roast. <laughs> Do not even feel sorry for him. Do you know how many times he he roasts me every day? That's literally the wind. Oh gosh, is that gonna That's keep going? Wind. Or this is like a level parking lot. We've been to Santorini, Israel. Uh, we've been to London. We've also been to Ireland and Egypt. And we've been to Bali and Singapore, but back then we weren't vlogging, but we were, we did vlog the Middle East. So, you know, check out those vlogs if you haven't. Might be super cringy, but they were fun. Okay, we haven't opened this in a while, so this is not a very productive packing vlog. It's already full. Goodness gracious me. No, we can what get more in stuff there? in there. We can get more stuff in there. Just packs. Oh, it's all the winter stuff. Okay, we're gonna need that. There's only space to have two suitcases open at a time. So now we gotta shuffle them. So Sarah can keep packing this, I can keep packing this. Suitcase shuffle coming right up. Excuse me. Please remind me never ever to move countries ever again. <laughs> hey, this is my suitcase. <laughs> As you guys can see, there is a lot going on here. So there's a lot going on, but not a lot's happening. If that makes sense. Once again, this is where we're at. It just doesn't feel like we're making a whole lot of pro progress right now. Food here we come. We're trying to eat everything as well, which is disgusting. We know it's feral, but you know we don't waste food. She's working. David fixed her. She's working. Well deserved lunch break. Doing some gluing, fixing up. Yeah, should have done this about three months ago, but just getting to it now when we're selling it. 
Why don't we cook it for dinner there, honey? Hungarian goulash, which I just, I did not want to cook. However, we do not want to waste this beef. Um, so I have to cook it. It's, what's the time now? It's like almost eight o'clock. So it's kind of getting late, but don't want to waste it. Some nice beef is kind of a luxury for us at the best of times, so we don't really want to just chuck it in the bin. We've been trying to plan our meals so that we get down to eating the last little bit of food that we've got, but it hasn't worked out too bad, but yeah, still... Yeah, too bad. We just have to throw out some sauces. Yeah, so there's always those sauces that you got to chuck out and different stuff, but... It's finally here. It's available. It's in stock. Mmm. Look at that deliciousness. Fancy seeing you guys. here. What? Today we are going to go to the dump, dump some stuff. We need to get a bill of sale. I feel like we're forgetting so something. Definitely forgetting something, but anyway, we'll figure it out. But today, Monty is going to be leaving us. Half of the back of this car is just full of shoes. Wonder whose shoes? Mine. So as you guys know, we don't have a printer, so we're going to try and get this bill of sale printed. And we're going to try the post office first and see if they'll do it for us. It smells so good in here. All the fresh bakery stuff is going and I'm so hungry. Worst place to come when you're hungry is the grocery store. Alright, we got turned down. <laughs> I was trying to like act really desperate. Which we are kind of desperate because we're selling the car today. And yes, I know we should have done this a long time ago. We just kept forgetting. So... We're gonna try this basic store, whatever. Check out these. Take two. Oh, Valley Basics. I'm ready, Capistini. Yeah, we'll take two, please. How'd you go? Yeah, fine. Got it done eventually. You guys know what time it is. <laughs> it's PSL time. <laughs> See if we can capture that first sip feeling. Always good. This brings back horrible memories. If you've been watching for a while, you'll know we did some oil changes on our Ford Escape transmission. Betsy. And this is all the oil from way back then. <laughs> We've been carrying it around with us the whole time because we couldn't find a place to dump it, but now we found a place to dump it. Have you ever seen a dump? this scenic. That's the current state of uh, the back of the car. Starting to panic a little bit about how much space we don't have. This is what we have left. I thought you were talking to the sale guy. <laughs> I was like, ah, ah, why is he here? We still need to clean. This is where we're <laughs> up to right now. There's stuff like protruding out of the car. Our last drive in Monty! Last drive in Monty. Definitely gonna miss all the memories that we've made in this van. Yeah. Um, we've seen, we've been able to see so, I know we complain about Monty all the time, but we've been able to see so much because of this vehicle and he was super reliable and he did get us from point A to point B without, you know, any, any major any drugs. major issues they've all been fixable so that's good um so yeah we're just gonna uh dump everything and then make we're gonna our way dump back and then, yeah make our way back and then hopefully do the sale you know it's never guaranteed until until the money's in your hand actually yeah. until the money's in your account our last dump yes you won't have to do this ever again Stay tuned, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will, but you'll never know <laughs> if you don't stay tuned. Got Sarah in the sink where she belongs. Good job, honey. Just working hard as usual. I'm trying to rush her because we've got a lineup, but she's not very happy about I'm it. I'm trying my best. I can't go any faster. I'm trying to make sure they're clean. Right now, we are filling out the bill of sale, our part of it, and we're just waiting for him to come. But we've cleaned out 
the RV. It's smelling good. It's looking good. David's fixed up whatever needs to be fixed, which is just little bits and pieces here and there. David's going for a little little spin with them. Seems like they like it. Seems like they're going to take it. So that's good. I don't know if the guy's a mechanic or whatever, but they know. They seem to know their stuff, so they're pretty happy with it. I think they really like it because they have like a 1986 RV. So this is like luxury for them apparently. Okay. Bye, Monty. Bye, Monty. It's been good. Wow. I actually just like, a, a whole weight just like lifted off. And that was only because we didn't know the market. We we don't know about like winter selling and before winter selling and all that yeah. kind of stuff. So now we we're like, oh, okay, we're going into winter and it got sold. So we're happy about that because we thought yeah. maybe that might be a problem. Look at Monty David. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. I thought you said you weren't going to cry. I'm not Why are you crying? crying? Are you crying? You're crying. Your eyes are glossy. Your oh my gosh, you're crying. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so anyway, it's the end of RV life and we haven't even booked a place to stay tonight. So we might be staying in the car. Wow, this is the most fresh and clean we have felt for <laughs> ages. I had such a long shower. And um, as most of you, you guys know, we are Christian. Not all of you believe the same faith as us, but we did pray about this and we pray that it would go smoothly and the transition would be smooth. And the same thing we prayed for selling Betsy and selling the RV. It just all came to pass where we purchased a new car in the mix and we sold the RV and everything happened in a perfect timing. We are moving into staff accommodation tomorrow. If you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that we bought Monty at the start of mm. summer, which is definitely a seller's market. Then we sold him at the start of winter, which is definitely a buyer's market when it comes to RVs. We bought it with an engine light on that we didn't know about. The previous owner didn't disclose it to us mm -hmm. and they had painted over it so we had no idea. We disclosed that to the new buyer and we sold it in a buyer's market and we literally got $10 less for it than what we purchased it for. Yeah. And we've put kilometers on that thing, we've... You know? Like yeah, we found the engine light, there's just a whole bunch of stuff and we were honest with them, we yeah. told them everything Monty's in good, he is in good condition, he does run well, but like, we just, yeah, and we just didn't have enough money to like, have it to looked at with yeah, the engine and, light yeah. and all that kind of stuff. To give him the attention that he needed. But yeah. yeah, that's just another crazy aspect of the whole thing as well. And the buyers were like wrapped. They were so happy. They're like, oh, this is luxury compared to what we've been in. They were yeah. just so happy with the condition and everything. So. It was just really awesome how it all worked out. The timing of everything in itself is just nuts. We bought a car on Tuesday. Yeah. It's a BC car, but we bought it right near us in Alberta so that we didn't have to get an inspection on it and all that sort of stuff. That's crazy by itself. We sold the RV today and we move into staff accommodation tomorrow, yeah. which is two weeks before our work start date, saving us like $1,000 on other accommodation. Yeah. So we just believe that this is not something that just happens and it's not a coincidence, like everything has just worked together perfectly. We're so thankful for it, yeah, we're, we're very grateful really and our faith is what gets us through our rough times. But yeah, we don't want to preach to you guys, we just, you know, this is us and we know that you follow us and you enjoy us and this is just a part of who we are. So we just want to say that we're super grateful and we're thankful for how everything has turned out and i think it's good for everyone to have a moment of gratitude and to be thankful for where you are or even if you're going through the trial or whatever at the moment it's good to just know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel that's all going to be okay we have so many other adventures coming up we're super excited for even continuing fall in another place. Stay tuned, subscribe, and join our journey because you never know where we might end up next. And we don't even know where we're gonna end up next because you guys should know by now that we're leaving Canada in April. Yeah, check out all our other social media links. They're in the description right underneath the like button.
and we will see you in the next video. I guess. We'll see you guys in the next video. Who knows what that's going to be. Bye.